And last year's protests in Bahrain, of course, forced the cancellation of the kingdom hosting a Formula One race. This year, it is back on the schedule. But protesters say they will again try to disrupt the event. After refusing food for two months, a jailed Bahraini activist is said to be nearing death. Now we've learned that one of the man's daughters was arrested in Bahrain just last night. CNN's Ian Lee has more on the hunger strike that could trigger a new round of street protests in the tightly controlled kingdom. This may be the most recent photo taken of Bahraini human rights activist Abdul Hadi El Khawaja. El Khawaja has been in jail for nearly a year after being detained for his role in anti-government demonstrations. The picture appears taken in court and was apparently released by Bahrain's government just after El Khawaja began his hunger strike. His daughter is not happy with what she sees. Well, I mean, you can definitely tell that his jaw is broken. There's something completely wrong here. This side of his face is completely different from the other side of his face. It's, it's swollen as well. You can see the difference in the eyes. Um, I know that he had stitches on the side of his head as well, uh, but they took the picture from this angle so you can see it. Mariam El Khawaja is in Cairo to organize support for Bahrain's opposition movement. Her mission began last year after police back home vigorously cracked down on protesters demanding political reforms. Dozens of people have been killed and thousands detained since then. The Bahraini government says her father is currently serving a life sentence for his alleged role in an attempt to overthrow the government. He's not used to being in a situation where he has absolutely no control over anything. He has no way of protesting. And so he took the last thing that he could control, which is his own body, to raise a voice of protest. Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja's hunger strike is now into its ninth week which Bahraini authorities say is designed to force the government to drop charges and free him. The Bahraini government released a statement saying doctors are monitoring him, and besides receiving some hospital care, his family and the Danish ambassador have been allowed to visit him. El Khawaja carries Danish citizenship. The government is promising reforms, release of political prisoners, reinstating those fired from jobs for political activity, and reform of the security services. But Miriam says the reforms aren't happening fast enough or at all because the international community isn't paying attention. The, the reason why the oppression continues in Bahrain is because there have been no international consequences for their actions. So they have no incentive to change. Why would they change if there's no consequences? By going on a hunger strike, Miriam's father hopes to draw attention back to the plight of the Bahraini opposition. But Miriam fears his stubborn protest may cost him his life. Ian Lee, CNN, Cairo. And let's get the latest on the situation now. Bahraini journalist Lamiz Daif joins us now uh, from Dubai on the line. Uh, Lamiz, uh, first of all, th this case in particular, what l level of profile does it have in Bahrain? What, what is the anger about this man and also the others who are in prison? Okay. Um, Al Khawaja case is a clear example of the arrogant and suppressive regime in Bahrain. That's why you can see that people are extremely angry about it, because it shows that the regime is taking people as slaves. Abdul Hadi and his colleagues and 600 others are detained for opposing the regime. This is their only crime. Around 4,000 others have been charged with opposing the regime. By his strike, Abdul Hadi is trying to say, you cannot keep me in jail. It's freedom or death. And it's clear that the regime prefers his death, prefer to, to make people really angry, rather than showing any sign of sympathy. Lamise, uh, what, what is the state of the protest movement at the moment? Uh, it hasn't been in the news lately, but, but the protests are still continuing, or have they been largely quashed? Actually, it's continuing. Uh, people are really being insisting. They go out every day. Uh, and the regime keep, you know, sending their mercenaries to beat them every day, but they keep going on. People are really insisting of changing their reality. What about reforms that the, the Bahraini administration has introduced? Have they uh, helped at all to placate the people? 
the reforms that the regime is talking about is only promises. From months and months, all what you're, what, what you're uh, you know, listening is just makeup. They're only putting some cosmetics, you know, statements all over the world. But on the ground, there is no reforms. I dare anybody from the regime to come out and say, we did this on the ground. They only give promises to, uh, and those promises they're trying to promote for the outside media, for the outside world. But on the ground, nothing is going, is, is changing. Yeah. Actually, it's getting worse. The, the, the Formula One race, uh, you know, obviously a major sort of sporting event for Bahrain in terms of international uh, profile and publicity. What is the feeling there about the Formula One race being back on the agenda, on the schedule this year? And would there be protests against it if it does go ahead? Actually, you know, people are really hurt. They already feel that everybody is ignoring them in the world and the media they feel they've been ignored and nobody cares about the violations that they, they, that happens to them and now this formula one race coming to bahrain saying that not only we don't care about your suffer and your misery we want to act that we want to come to you and act everything is normal you can see that the regime want this so badly to send a message to the world that everything is okay and we are hosting you know different kind of activities and i think that coming uh, the the f1 happening in bahrain is not such a bad idea uh, regarding regardless of what other things i think that people should come to bahrain and see what's really happening mm. and meet real people because we are not objects we are people we have our lives and we have our rights and and we want them to see how how we are living and and how we are okay. how how they are acting with us lamise thanks so much lamise dave uh, joining us there about rainy journalist uh, joining us from dubai